I am happy to announce that the crypto gurus and these crypto influencers look really dumb right now looking at Bitcoin's price at $48,491 and if you don't know a lot of these gurus were saying that we were going to see like $150,000, $200,000 Bitcoin or some other ridiculous number by the end of December and some of them are still holding on to that idea but a lot a good majority of them are finally to back are finally backpedaling and telling their their audience that oh no that's not what i meant or like you know they they like to throw up something like something with inflation or their fed manipulating the markets or you know some other excuse that they have um, to cover up the fact that they actually had no idea what the heck they were go what was going on and they were just influencers and gurus these were not experts or analysts so um, I'm happy to see that that they're they were embarrassed in the public eye and they look really retarded right now and so I just want to go over really quick this video is going to be about how to separate the gurus and influencers from the real crypto analysts and I just want to say that you know everyone's gonna be wrong including me I thought that the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation was going to fall during December and, you know, just keep going up. But the difference between I would like to think that I am just a quote unquote crypto analyst because I gave my reason. And my reason was that every single December that it, the, this valuation went down. And I've shown this many times in many videos, but this time it didn't. So I was proven wrong. But what I would like to think that what makes me different from the gurus and influencers is that these guys don't have any reason for what they say. It seems like they just wake up in the morning and they go like, oh, I gotta make a video today and they just pull out something out of their ass with absolutely zero data or really or really like they manipulate the data to make themselves sound smart and make the chart fit into like they commit chart crime to make themselves like to make the chart look like it's gonna do what they say. And so the influencers are different from the analysts in the reasons why. So like a clear clear example of a guru is obviously this guy right here, BitBoy. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of these subscribers are probably people who have no idea what the heck is really going on. And they just see this flashy guy, they see he got uh, lots of views and they get suckered into this guy's uh, network, right? And, and I've seen a couple of his videos, he has, he gives absolutely zero reason why he thinks, you know, this coin is going to go to like the moon or whatever, right? And so that's how you separate the gurus from the uh, the, the crypto analysts. You know, they're both going to be wrong at times. All even the smartest analysts are wrong at times, but it's about it, whether or not they give good reasons for like why they say certain things. And another thing is long term versus short term. So like a lot of the short-term traders, a lot of the medium-term traders, they're going to be wrong a lot of the time, right? And you go on crypto Twitter and you see people posting charts and, you know, they're good traders. But you have to understand that these are just opinions. Nothing. Don't try to think of these guys as, like, complete experts and, like, they whatever they say is going to happen. And that's why they got rich. And, yes, you know, they probably do have a better, you know, batting average than the average Joe. But... A lot of the times they will be wrong so please consider a lot of these things that you see on Twitter as opinions I personally learned this like it, it really opened my eyes the past couple of weeks about how like 95% of what I see on Twitter is just other people's opinions and those opinions are likely to be wrong and you know that's what this was over here this is a lot of this was short-term traders or medium-term traders who got liquidated because they thought we're going to go to 200k Bitcoin by December 1st, 31st, and they got liquidated by their platforms because we just went down too long. And so uh, the moral of the story that I want to say, or I want to show you guys my approach on how I tackle the market. So like, uh, I remember when I first got it, when I first bought my first crypto, uh, like last year the first thing I did was go look at the chart and see for myself right without anyone else's opinions or any other like noise exactly what does the chart look like and this is what I saw and I from the from this I deduce that the market cycles take longer and longer for the it takes longer and longer for the peaks to appear and the peaks have diminishing returns so for example, this to this peak was like, let's say a thousand X. I forget the real number, but let's say this was like a thousand X and here to here was like 50 X. Well, that's diminishing returns, right? 
So immediately I knew um, that the cycle was this, this cycle was probably going to peak in 2022, and the price was going to be in between 120k to like 200k, just off the bat, just by myself, just looking at this chart. And what really helped that was, you know, I wanted to learn more about crypto. I wanted to see what other of these experts were saying. And so I went on YouTube and I went on Twitter, like probably everyone else. And I discovered Benjamin Cohen. And he also believes, and he's been saying this for a long, long time. He has a long-term outlook. He doesn't, sh he doesn't have like weird hopium videos with these super clickbait thumbnails. So I knew he was like a real crypto analyst and not just a guru. And he said, you know, he's been saying June 2022 to like, you know, late 2022, even 2023. He's been saying that since like, I think 2019, he doesn't, he doesn't do short term predictions like that. And so I look at that. I'm like, OK, this guy thinks similarly to me. And so I want to follow this guy because we're, you know, we, we're on the same page. And that's how I kind of start building my, you know, my like my circle of people that I follow and the other guy is Pintoshi who's a fantastic trader and from there like I made the mistake of like following more and more and more people because I thought they were correct but the only thing that they got going from them was that we were in the middle of a bull market so everyone looked like they were correct um, and so I stuck to my own guns looking at my own analysts first and then I started looking at other people and what other people thought. And I just took it as opinion, not necessarily as a fact. Like, for example, over here, if you don't know, I sold my Bitcoin, all pretty much almost all of my Bitcoin over here, like at 57, 58 before this big uh, pullback. Right. And I did that despite the fact all of Twitter was just saying big green candles and bull runs and stuff. And the only people that were saying that this thing was going to fall was... Pentoshi from Twitter and Benjamin Cohen on YouTube and so you know I stuck to my guns first and then I looked at the crypto analysts and see what they were saying and I we agreed and I was like okay that's good and I saw what the crypto gurus were saying and they kept saying oh Bitcoin up Bitcoin up and so I knew that you know I knew it was gonna fall and I was correct and I'm not trying to say like, oh, listen to me now. Oh, look at me. I know what the fuck is going on. I really don't, to be honest. But I, w I would like to just, you know, give out information and I try to give good reasons why. So, you know, the main the main thing that I would like to say here is please think for yourselves. My dad follows the most retarded guys on YouTube. Like I can't I thought this guy was somewhat intelligent, but he follows like guys kind of like BitBoy Crypto like just absolute garbage and news sites that just keep saying the same thing over and over again that bitcoin's gonna go up to the moon and you gotta get into these cryptos before they blow up don't be like that guy be more like a crypto analyst and think for yourself first and i promise you that if you know you might be really shitty at thinking for yourself at first but if you keep doing that for the course of couple of years i bet that you'll be better off than listening to freaking bit boy so please think for yourself please know that a lot of the stuff that you see is just opinions and a lot of the opinions don't even come from real analysts a lot of the opinions come from gurus and you definitely don't want to be listening to the gurus so that's just a video i wanted to say uh or do today please like please subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye